you'll do it right to grow the best garden you can. Lowe's does it right, too, with savings on miracle Grow potting mix with fertilizer to help you get growing. And grow plants twice as big versus unfed plants. Pick up a 50-quart bag now for just $10. Plus, get Bonnie 2.32-quart vegetables and herbs, three for $10. For a garden that's worthy of showing off, do it right for less. Start with Lowe's. Offers valid through 6-5 while supplies last U.S. only. Excludes Alaska and Hawaii. At Farmers Insurance, we know the sound of a perfect hot air balloon landing. And a less than perfect one. <laughs> Seen it, covered it. Click for more. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Underwritten by Farmers Truck Fire Insurance Exchanges and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. Hi, folks. Welcome to the Keys Bartender Live podcast. We're coming to you from the catch here uh, in beautiful Key Largo. Yes, where are we right now? I just came from a cruise, so I'm kind of confused of where I am. But um, today I'm joined with some friends. So you can see the blender going in the background. That's the reason why I'm speaking. I'm sorry, Jerry. I don't know if you can get your attention. But uh, we are in a uh, live setting, running a bar. And uh, today we're going to be featuring uh, several products. One's a Tanteo. It's a, a flavored vodka. There's a... Uh, uh, jalapeno. I don't know if we're going to be using a, a chipotle. Right now, I'm tasting a uh, the jalapeno. I well, I knew that. I have a little lime juice, uh, but it's great for making. We're going to try it out with a couple margaritas. We're going to sample them out to our crowd here, and then we're also going to be featuring a skinny girl vodka. Uh, skinny girl vodka, and uh, I like. You can do it in almost uh, a gimlet. You can do it just by itself. You can do it with a dirty. Uh, Martini. I just Martinis. opened up the show. So yeah, dirty martini. Martinis. And um, we're going to be uh, sharing them out with our uh, guest here. I just wanted to go over before we get some of our reps in and uh, talk about the the wonderful product we have. I want to talk about the cruise I was on, Billy. How was your cruise? You have a good time. I had a great time on the cruise. It was eight days. We went out of Fort Lauderdale. Um, Can we say who you went cruising with? Uh, you know what? Yes. Okay. I went, with, I went with Carnival. We had uh, a wonderful time. The uh, Wi-Fi was a bit spotty because it was satellite, but the cruise was wonderful. Uh, it was eight days. <coughs> we were in, um, oh gosh, where did we go? We went to St. Martin, uh, oh, Dutch, Dutch. England, uh, Dutch, French island, uh, uh, St. Kitts, uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and... Uh, Grand Turks, Ooh. and I was there with my uh, family, my uh, wife and my daughter, and two other families we went with, and during that, uh, we had uh, uh, some memorable events, oh, but cool. you may be shocked to hear, I overate and drank during the entire thing, and that's what you got to watch out, being a bartender, and, or from restaurant bi- uh, business, you're on a cruise, and you, you're offered unlimited food, and I took the unlimited uh a drink package, which which could have been a mistake, <laughs> which could have been a horrible mistake, and uh, we heard stories about people getting uh, missing from cruises and stuff like that. Luckily, I, I didn't go missing, and uh, luckily my wife uh, didn't find my behavior that well, bad. Good. I'm glad um, she didn't didn't object too much. Yeah, but I was shocked, and the title of the show is No Way, and I spell way the traditional way. Uh, W E I G H because when I got home, I weighed myself and found myself eight pounds heavier. No, I was eight pounds, last one time. pound a day. And that workout routine I had for the week uh, lasted up until the second day. <laughs> the second day, and then my workout uh, routine uh, came out to be getting up for breakfast and having, having the Bloody Mary. Getting, yeah, Bloody Mary or a screwdriver. <laughs> wow, it's like he's in my inside my mind. And then uh, every time I'd walk by uh, the grill, if I walked by the left, the, the starboard side of the ship, there was a grill that had cheeseburgers and hot dogs. And I just, it seemed like a sin. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie A Color Purple, they say it's a sin not to stop and admire the color purple. I think it's a sin to walk by a cheeseburger and not to enjoy it. There you go. And that's what I did. Actually. Uh, and, uh, or a chili dog. We were at, uh, last one we did, we were sitting across, we had one of the inside cabins on one of the the uh, Royal Caribbeans, yeah, and we were across from the uh, bakery, 
and I could see him putting out the blueberry muffins and the cheese danishes and everything every morning. Okay. So that was uh, that was dangerous. Well, oh, they had the omelet station and all that stuff, and I was eating. I was uh, heroically trying to eat uh, fresh fruits and, and vegetables during the cruise, but I, I wasn't. I was trying. I was trying. I'm getting an incredulous look from my daughter, but uh, I did try to eat some fruit, and uh, but that. Um, you know, the access to the food, and then they had a pizza station, too, where they rolled out <laughs> pizza. And you walk by the pizza station, you go, why not? It's not a whole pizza. It's a personal pizza. And you know what? There's nothing more personal than a personal pizza. Because you eat that whole personal pizza, it adds up. It's like 1,500 calories. It's 10 drinks. And you add up the 15 drinks you get on your your, yeah. your, your limit, which is a lot of drink. Even even if you're... Oh, well, they had you on a limit? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, no, which, you know what? I only one day out of eight days did I reach my limit. Or maybe two days. Could have been three. I would, who's counting? No, it was two <laughs> days. Two days I reached my limit. Mm. That Tanteo jalapeno uh, tequila is delicious. I, do you want to try and taste of it? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, okay, here we go. I have it with a little lime juice. And uh, what I'm suggesting with a lot of these uh, specialty uh, liquors, if you stick with the fresh uh, juices... Oh, that's and, got a nice bit of heat. Yeah, yeah. It. It's got, yeah, it's a jalapeno. It's a jalapeno tequila. You don't have to mash it up or anything. It's delicious. Yeah, that's got a nice and, bit uh, of heat to it. Yeah, and yeah, I'm, I'm a little more sour than a, a sweet person. So that's the way I like it. I don't need the salt. But um, on the cruise, I'm going to go over some of the items. It may be forgettable or unforgettable. I was doing martinis and gimlets and all that. And uh, I had a friend coming with me, Dave. And uh, he kept on asking what I was drinking. Every so often, I'd be drinking bourbon on the rocks. And he goes, what are you drinking? I said, I'm drinking this bourbon on the rocks. And he goes, oh, is that a good drink to have? It's a good drink for me. <laughs> and he tried it, and he just seen his face go on oh, chop. I'm a but big he would fan. drink that. I'm a big fan of bourbon on the rocks. Oh, yeah, bourbon. And then there was Gimlet's. Uh, yes, and there could be vodka and Did you do a Gibson? Soda. I did. No Gibson. Oh, come on. I did not have Pearl onions. No, no. Uh, you know what? I don't have anything against it. It's a martini with uh, pearl onions, onions, but it's you're drinking a martini and you're all you're you're gonna you're gonna end up stinky at the end of the night. Why are you gonna help out with the onions? It's like blue take cheap. a shower that doesn't clean that out doesn't, your mouth. Yeah, no. That doesn't help with your mouth. Take a bottle of scope. Yeah, but uh, on uh, I'm gonna talk about some of the things we did on uh, the first day. Uh, I spoke to the cruise director and uh, the hotel, uh, the big officers of the ship. They had me in the office, and they were talking about what I was going to be planning to do and what, how I was going to podcast. And I told them, I said, well, I was going to get involved in some of the activities and uh, experience your ship and talk about it. And so the, the guy who's kind of like the second in charge, and I don't want to get him in trouble, but his name Lars, and he was a hotel manager. I don't think I'm getting And the entertainment director, who was Sydney, and the customer relations manager whose name was Jeff but got that correct yes and I'm in the office I'm talking about what I'm doing and I want to do a uh, interview with the cruise director the guy that brings all the entertainment to ground and he's kind of like the the catering manager or the the mater d and he's organizing all the events he's the phone director yeah and they found out I you know I was approaching him and he wanted me to do this um, bartender contest and I said what do you want me to do be the bartender <laughs> and they go, no, we want you to be the judge. I hope not. And we want you to be cool. You know, be nice when you need to be nice and be cool when you be. You need to go. And I did it. And it was, you know, some good drinks. And one time this woman comes up and she has this drink. It's called the 57 T-Bird. And when she drank it, she put in like seven different liquors, all this sweet stuff. And I tasted it at the end. I said, you know what? You did a really good job naming this drink because this drink tastes like it came out of a radiator of a 57 T-Bird. <laughs> That's what I said. That was cool. I was, I was channeling my inner Simon Call, Cal, from the, uh, what, America's Got Talent. Yeah. I'm and I, I felt really bad world. after I said it. It was mean. It was mean. But after that, there was a family reunion off to the side, and they started calling me Simon. <laughs> and the family reunion kind of invited me in. There was like 20 people. It was a family right next to to the main deck near the main pool near the main bar and the whole time we're on the cruise I kept on falling in with these people and hanging out with them and they were an African American family and here I am and I'm, I'm sitting in the middle of them and I'm the only 
uh, guy looking like I do, but they were wonderful. They're the people I fed in. Uh, oh, you know, yeah. I fit in I'm with. sure we had. I put it fat in with. That's like a past tense of fit. But I sat with them the whole time. They were great. That, that uh, was my day four. It was you Terrence. Fat in. It was it was Terrence, Chris, Tony, Michael, and their wives and their children, and we had a great time. And the whole time I was running in and out, and they were calling me Simon. And I said, you know what? If you plan to come down to Key Largo and ask for me, if you start asking for Simon, they're no not going to know. They're not going to know who I'm talking about. Uh, who you're talking about? So I I uh, I. I uh, handled the bartending contest, the uh, judging, and then it was a karaoke oh. uh, thing. Yeah. The karaoke See, thing. What is that, three podcasts ago where we had me? No, it was six little, podcasts six. ago when I said, when I made that my harangue, yes. my insult against uh, karaoke. When what we, do I do? And I said I was a hypocrite in the beginning. And what does a hypocrite do? He acts against the thing that he does. And the thing that I did was I went up and did karaoke. Oh, I did uh, Blondie, Call on Me. And I had two women no, call dancing. Me. Call me. Call me. Yeah, call, call me. on me. Call me is another song. Call me. But it's karaoke, so they give you the words. It's a good thing. And I had to rely on my uh, musical skills, which are none, very, very poor. But I sang, I channeled my Bill, uh, Bill Murray from the 80s, oh. but it's kind of like a lounge singer. And I did that. And I think I did a good job. And then... I think a couple days later we did some trivia, and then my daughter and I joined um, this game called Sorry. It was a human sorry game. Anybody know that game Sorry? Yep. Sorry was, they had specific rules, and they were introducing this game as a life-size human game where you use bodies to move around. <clears throat> and this guy that ran the games, it was his first time doing it. And if you're familiar with, uh, familiar with Sorry, there's a whole bunch of different rules and things to do, how you skip people and stuff like that. And we're doing it, and there were four teams, and there was one team, and I guess I could talk about them because we don't know their name. It was a mother and her three sons, and the three sons were ultra competitive, much like myself. But we were joined, Abby and I, uh, Sky and I, were joined with um, a team of a mother and her son. So we had, and then we had two other families. And these ultra-competitive guys, they're from like 14 to 17, and they're telling everyone what to do, who to go, and all that. And after a while, I told my daughter, I said, all we have to do is beat that team. And the rest of the game, that's all I did. And we weren't doing so hot the whole game. As long as a matter of fact, up. there were two other game teams we were helping, well, actually, as long as they didn't win. And it turned out, right towards the end, we were doing really poorly. And they were ready to say, hey, um, you know, the guy's looking at me. He goes, this game's going on for, it's been going on an hour and a half. It was like one of those risk games that last all night, if you play that. Or, <laughs> it just, or a long chess Monopoly. game. Or Monopoly. And the guy said, can you just all take awards? And the guys, the young guys said, no. They want to play to win. So the next move, I won. And we took the, the There thing. you go. We did that. And then after that, we did the, um, what's the big thing? The synchronized swimming competition. Synchronized swimming? Synchronized swimming. Was uh, it solo synchronized No, swimming? it was team. <laughs> they had me in charge of the men's team. And uh, we had to do, uh, my daughter is a synchronized swimmer. That's what she does. Oh, and she heard that synchronized swimming competition. And I thought, hey, hon, I don't think it's what you think it's going to be. Was it? No, no, <laughs> it wasn't. They wanted to have someone embarrassed. They need to see someone look silly. And you know what? Oh. I stepped right up when that happened. Hey, there we go. Yeah, hey, there we go. No. Oh, hey, Pat. It's it's Patrick. Yeah. Sweet Patrick, water. come on over. How you doing? I'm doing good. Man. Join in, in, grab a Here. seat. Let's get a drink for him. Patrick, slide over a little bit. Yep. Um, so it's right been. Here. So we do a synchronized swimming routine. I orchestrate the whole thing. We we. We just organized all this. I'm going to move over some? Yeah, just move over. Okay. So, here I am doing this uh, thing. And we ended up winning uh, that event. Okay. Which uh, I, don't, I don't think it was much of a... It was like a, a beauty contest. 
Oh, we're going to get some drinks for Patrick right here. What are you going to have, Patrick? Bourbon. Bourbon. Yeah. Hey, you want to try some? Why don't you try some of that tequila? You like tequila? Yeah, okay. Okay, get some of that Tanteo, tanteo uh, tequila. It's a uh, jalapeno tequila. Jalapeno? I like jalapeno. Yeah, I like tequila. Try it. I like tequila. You got it. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're promoting that today. So, um, get, with a little splash of lime juice, if you can, uh, on that. And we'll get some drinks over here for them so they can try that. So, I was finishing up with my uh, partner. Well, no, with my cruise. With your, oh, oh, we did a cruise for eight days. Patrick knows me. He's with the band Sweetwater. A well-known band up here in, uh, down here in the Keys. I say up. I'm, I think we're so far south that sometimes I think that we're all the way around. And you get you get it backwards. I yeah. know it's hard to believe that Miami you have to go north to get to Miami. Yeah. You know? I mean, that doesn't make sense in Miami. And the accent gets so much stronger as you go north. <laughs> <laughs> like down mean, here, it's so it's no, so nondescript. Yeah, I'm from northern Michigan. So you're from Philadelphia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, are you? So you know. So you oh, get yeah. up in the upper upper peninsula and you start getting a lot of Finnish accent. And we say a. You betcha. And a, Just like you the, betcha. the guys from yeah, Fargo. Yep. A funny looking fella. <laughs> you were the funny looking fella. So. This is Julie. Hey, calendar. What's my morning like? Julie's about to have a long day. At 9 a.m. Soccer carpool. 9.10, purchase birthday card. 9.05, dry cleaning. Did you just go backwards? I'm sorry, I can't fit that question into your schedule. <sighs> 9.15, cry for a little bit. For days that won't end, let Schwann's help. With Schwann's, you can get delicious meals that go from freezer to table in minutes, not hours. Ordered, delivered, done. That's homemade easy. Visit today at schwanns.com. At Domino's, we're more than pizza, so mix it up with our specialty chicken, stuffed cheesy bread, sandwiches, pastas, medium two-topping pizzas, and more for just five ninety nine dollars each, and we'll mix stand-up comedy with a robot. Stuffed cheesy bread and my act have a lot in common. They're both super cheesy. Tough crowd. You can also mix it up with Domino's salads, marbled cookie brownie, bread twists, and medium two-topping pizzas. Order any two or more for just five ninety nine dollars each. Two-item minimum. bone and wings, handmade pan pizza, and bread bowl pasta will be extra. You must ask for this limited time offer. Prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary.